everyone and welcome back to my channel um i wanted to hop on and do a quick october setup video in my erin condren daily duo and this is going to be kind of a different style of video i'm actually going to stop talking <laughs> and do kind of a fast forward uh playover of how i set this up and then i'll add a voiceover because it's kind of going to take a long time and I don't want this to be an extremely long video. And so, yeah, let's go ahead and hop in. So we're gonna go ahead and set up October. Here's a quick look at some of my September pages. I think I'm gonna carry most things over, like my work little schedule thing and my hydration tracker. Some of these stickers here on the side. Um, one thing that you'll see is that I try to keep my color palette completely in line with the Erin Condren color of the month. And I go ahead and set it up all at once because I don't have time to hop in and like add all these stickers every day. And to be going through all of my collection, it's a lot. You're going to kind of get a peek at, of how I store everything, all my stickers and such. And so... Yeah, so let's go ahead and hop in. Here's the beautiful header tab divider. I guess it's a divider, <laughs> monthly divider <laughs> for October. It says focus on the good that's all around you. And let's get started. All right, everyone. So this is gonna be a really long video. Um, I have decided to come back in with a voiceover and um, I, I've seen other girls do this when they do their plan with me's or their setups and they kind of go through like a get to know me questionnaire so I thought that would be really fun um, while you watch me white out everything in this planner. Um, I thought it would be kind of cool to answer some questions that I found online. They're kind of random but whatever we'll see how it goes and hopefully it will get better every time we do these monthly setups so just taking a look here at what's on the screen you're gonna see me flip back and forth to September quite a bit at first um just so I can remember what I did in September and kind of carry it through um so this video is a little bit all over the place, I'll be honest. Um, I did not go into this prepared. I, my supplies was not organized. Um, I don't know, I just like played a video in the background on YouTube and just kind of went at it like I usually would and I feel like I could have been a little more organized. So I'm sorry about that, but I hope you enjoy. And let's go ahead and hop into some of these questions. Uh, okay, so I found this article on scienceofpeople.com and it's literally like over 400 get to know you questions. <laughs> so we're gonna just start at the top and uh, work our way down. So number one, what's something new that you've learned recently? Um, oh, I have a good one. So something that I learned recently is actually health related. Um, I've been on a health journey for like a million years. I've never seemed to be able to like find my groove and lose weight, except for one time when I did the keto diet for like five months, I lost like 20 pounds and it was awesome. And I'm actually getting ready to kick that up again. Um, but anywho, so these past few months, four or five months, I've been back on my health journey and um, I decided to eat oatmeal for breakfast every day because it's super easy to make, really inexpensive, easy to like take on trips with you too. So I'm like, oh, this is the perfect solution. Well, no, <laughs> it is like the worst thing for me to eat ever, honestly. Like I've never had a food give me such a negative reaction that I can ever remember in my life. Like it's really disheartening because I truly, truly believed that I was doing the right thing for my health and my weight. And I would eat half a cup of oatmeal and like top it with a little bit of honey and some nuts every morning. 
for like the past five months. And slowly but surely, I noticed my energy levels being completely depleted at like noon. I mean, I would crash so hard. It was just ridiculous. And um, I just wasn't motivated and my mood was all over the place. And it was just so negative. It really was kind of scary to realize that like eating oatmeal or eating a food, you know, could have such a negative effect, not only on like my body weight, but like my emotions and like hormones, it was really scary. So um, I will not be eating oatmeal anymore and I'm moving back into the keto diet. So that was something that I learned. Oatmeal is not my jam and it is not something that I need to be eating for breakfast personally. So yeah, that's that. Uh, Number two, what's the highlight of your week? So today is Thursday and um, I think the highlight of my week actually happened last Saturday. We were invited by some friends to go to the Plano Balloon Festival and it was really, really nice. It was the first time we've ever been. It was packed, kind of like a small state fair. They had live music and lots of food stands and it was really cute, like really nice, you know? It's at this big park in Plano and um, lots of room to kind of spread out and we brought our lawn chairs and just kind of sat out there and the night was beautiful, it was a really beautiful night. And at the end of the night, they couldn't fly any balloons because it was really windy, but they were able to do this drone show that was like super, super cool. (laughs) It was so cool. It's kind of like you've seen them at like the Super Bowl and like really big events. And they used the drones to create all of these like Texas shapes, like boots and a hat and the state of Texas and the flag. And so that was really cool. Definitely the highlight of my week. Okay, um, what next? So really quickly, as you see on the screen, I am pulling over some of these little page flags and they're all different shapes and sizes and colors. Um, (laughs) As I kind of said at the beginning of the video, I like to try and keep with the same color palette as the main color that Erin Condren attributes to each month. Um, However, my number one priority is to use up my sticker collection, and that means mixing and matching and trying to choose what best fits, even if it doesn't match 100%. Um, So you're gonna see me kind of explore some new colors that are kind of in that orangey, beigey, beige-ish color color family. Um, So yeah, things don't stay as uh, matchy-matchy in October as they did in August, or I'm sorry, in September. Um, because I just didn't have as many orange stickers as I thought. That's really what it boiled down to. So yeah, that's that. Next question. Um, do you have pets? Tell me more. So we do not have any pets. Um, we also do not have any children. It is just my husband and I, um, and for right now that is more than enough. We travel a lot, so it's Having pets will be kind of hard, you know, having to find care for them when we're gone and we work a lot. So taking time to really give a pet the attention that it needs is not something that we can do right now. And to be honest, I'm kind of okay with that. Like the less responsibilities I have, (laughs) the better. So so I'm okay with not having pets. Uh, We have friends who have dogs and we enjoy seeing them when we see them, but None here at home. All right, number four. What are you grateful for today? Um, you know what? Today, I am really grateful for you guys. I am. I'm so grateful that you watch my videos. I mean, it's kind of a scary thing getting on YouTube and sharing parts of your life with the world and to be quite honest people that you don't know (laughs) and you just kind of do it with the hopes that you know what you say is good enough and what you produce is good enough and 
and there could be a lot of kind of I don't want I mean I guess it is like a type of anxiety that kind of comes along with it just you know wondering if you're what you have to say is worth saying and if the time that it takes to do is worth doing and the fact that you guys show up and you know watch my videos and like and comment it it's really affirming and I really appreciate it so yeah today I am grateful for you thank you all right um <clears throat> next is what's your favorite kind of weather uh I mean I guess it's not too crazy I like a sunny day <laughs> 70s you know mid to high 70s I like the fall so like an early fall day is like super beautiful to me um it can be a little bit chillier too where I can wear like a cozy sweater I love that I mean I think it's so beautiful I live in Texas now but I'm from Ohio and there is just a it's like a page turn from summer to fall like it's so stark it's so different and there's a few sweet sweet weeks in northern Ohio where the morning is crisp and it smells really good outside and it's not freezing yet <laughs> <laughs> and you can like open your windows in the morning and the sun shines through that is just my favorite so yeah all right let's see here let's take a look at this video okay so now you'll see I'm putting down my today and to do headers um, these also are very mixy matchy in color and in phrase um, just because, again, I'm just trying to use up my stash. You'll see that I don't really finish these in this take. I actually come back the next day and um, continue filling them in. Um, but yeah, what I use these for is to kind of divide that checklist on the right-hand side of the Daily Duo spread. And the to-do, it's actually, I prefer for it to say today on top so that I can mark the top three things I need to do today and then the to-do list are my like life goals and the things that I want to do so <laughs> yeah um you'll see I swap that for important or little things or other little headers that I have um that kind of translate in that meaning um but when it kind of comes down to it I know what the sections are for and I'm just trying to use up my stickers, and <laughs> so that's what it's about. So yeah, all right, uh, the next question. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would you live? So if I could live anywhere in the world, I would live in maybe Paris, France, I love Paris. That's where my husband proposed to me. So it's super, super special. And I love the French language. Um, if you ever get the chance to go or if you've ever been, I encourage you just to sit somewhere public. I don't know, a cafe or in a park or especially if you can sit somewhere where there's like a lot of foot traffic. So maybe like one of those seating areas outside of a cafe and just listen but don't listen to like the distinct conversations that people are having. Just try to like listen to the sound as a whole. And the French language has this very beautiful like cadence. It's like sing-songy. <laughs> it's really interesting and really nice. And that's one of my favorite little small things to do whenever we're in Paris is just sit and listen um, and admire the beautiful language and everything there is to see there. I mean, it's the most beautiful city in the world i am obsessed so if i could live in paris for a short while i most certainly would all right number seven what's the best kept secret about where you grew up so i am from toledo ohio which is in the northwest corner of ohio it's basically michigan i mean i grew up like five minutes from the michigan border very very far north and um, I think the best kept secret is you can get a really, really good chili dog in Toledo. <laughs> it's like kind of a weird flex, but it's so true. Um, we have plans to go back to Toledo soon. 
and the chili dog like there's this place called Nettie's and it's at least when I was there it was seasonal so it was only open in the summer and um it's dang good it's so 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 good and yeah you get like a couple chili dogs with some onions a cherry slush and some chips <laughs> and you have a summer classic meal best kept secret about Toledo okay uh, number eight what's the best kept secret about where you live now um da, 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 da. Dallas is awesome Dallas is I mean there's so much to do here best kept secret I don't know because <laughs> there's so much and it's a big city so like let me think what's okay I have a best kept secret I don't know if it is a secret but it it was something that I didn't know when I didn't live here um but Richardson Texas which is like one of the suburbs of Dallas has like some of the most amazing cuisine you will ever taste in your life. It's like an international hub. Like there's every type of cuisine is there. It's such a small little town. Um, we actually lived there before we moved to the town we live in now. And you'll find amazing Indian food, Chinese food, Japanese food, Mexican food, American food. Like, oh my God, it's so, so, so good. I don't know why my best kept secrets are all around food, but there you go. So, so yeah, definitely love Richardson. Okay. Uh, number nine, what was the last movie you saw and how was it? So the last movie that we watched was the Flash movie, like the superhero Flash and it was really good, you guys. <laughs> like, I know, I don't know the actor's name, the guy who plays Flash, but, and I don't really keep up with celebrity news, but I did see some headlines that he was kind of struggling and there was some drama around him. And I didn't think the movie was gonna be good. Just like after seeing some of the, you know, headlines that kind of bubbled up in my feed. But we really love superhero movies. And so I thought, why not? Let's just watch it. And, you know, sometimes superhero movies will leave little Easter eggs. So it's kind of important to watch them in order <laughs> and watch them. Um, and all that to say, the movie was fantastic. It was really, really, really good. And his acting was phenomenal. And I don't know. I don't, I haven't dug into what, transpired with him after recording the movie but or filming the movie but the movie itself was fantastic so yeah the flash uh let's see and take a look here at this video so right now i am putting down my hydration trackers same situation i try to follow the color code as best as I can and just kind of rifle through my whole collection and pick out anything that's orange. Um, I have some like hydration trackers that are like actually designed for that. And then whenever I can't find those, I will just use um, habit trackers, like the week Monday through Friday habit trackers. Um, and they're good enough. You know, you should drink like eight cups of water or something a day. So it's like an estimate. Um, the way I use this, I have this 40 ounce cup that I fill with lemon water every day. And if I finish that cup, then I check off all of the little marks or circles or whatever, right? Then I'll check them off. Um, if I don't finish it, then I just kind of give an estimate about like percentage wise how much I did finish and soon I'm going to have to like double up because I do want to drink more water and try and drink at least one and a half of these cups so I'm going to have to kind of reconfigure how I you know how I decide how much one of the circles is worth um but for right now that's how I'm using them uh now you'll see me going through and adding the this week stickers I'm kind of repositioning a couple stickers here as well. But the this week stickers are great because they help me to create a list, like weekly goals. Um, so 
I did kind of a flip through of my daily duo where you're you're able to kind of see what I'm talking about. I also make lots of mistakes in this video, like I'm not paying attention and I'm putting stickers where they don't belong. <laughs> and so, yeah, you'll kind of see, you'll kind of see me fix that throughout. Okay, next question. Um, 10, what was the last TV show that you binge watched and loved? So we're currently watching Suits, and I love it. I love it. I cannot believe I've never seen it. My husband, do you know how you'll have a show that like you can always turn on and watch from beginning to end? For me, that show is The Office. I love that show. For my husband, that show is Suits. And so he's seen this series like, I don't know, two or three times in total. And this is the first time I've ever watched it and I absolutely love it. I mean, Meghan Merkel is just so freaking beautiful. All the women in that show are so beautiful and stylish. They're definitely inspiring and it's just a good show. So if you haven't seen it, I highly, highly recommend. Number 11, what's the last book you read and how was it? Um, so if you follow along, you know I'm reading my Bible. I have a goal to like read the entire Bible. Um, but I'm not going to consider that as a book. It's a good read, but I'm not going to consider it as a book. Um, I think the last book I read was Atomic Habits. And don't come for me. But it wasn't that great. <laughs> like, it wasn't that great. I don't know. It was good. It was good. It was, it was good, you know? But I just didn't think it lived up to the hype. Like people were acting like it was so transformational and it just really had this, you know, impression on their lives. And um, I'm sure it did for a lot of people because it's good information. But for me, I didn't get that like, oh yeah, fired up. I'm ready to do this after reading it. It was a good read, but mm, I don't know if the hype was real. So <laughs> what do you think? Did you read Atomic Habits? Was it like super duper transformational for you? Did it kind of fall below your expectations? Let me know in the comments. All right, uh, 12. What are your plans for this weekend? This weekend, my husband's been out of town for work, and so I think we're probably just going to relax at home. Usually when he goes out of town, he spends the weekend, like, catching up on work. And so I think we'll probably just stay home. I may go see my mom um, because she ordered some Amazon stuff that came to my house. And so I'll go take that to her and hang out with her really quick. But I don't know. Just kind of taking it easy, working. I'll probably do some more YouTube videos, if I'm being honest honest um i have a contract that starts on monday which is super exciting it's like one of my biggest contracts biggest clients ever so i'm super pumped about that um and it it'll be good to kind of get some filming for youtube done so i can focus on my new client okay let's check out this video Oh, okay, so now I am working through my Saturday and Sunday layouts. Um, those are really important, and I'm also kind of adding the dates here too. Um, like I said, this book starts in July of 2024, so I have to like white out the entire thing. And if you're like, Andrea, you're wasting so much white out, don't worry. I bought these packs of whiteouts specifically for this moment. <laughs> so no waste. Um, I knew when I bought this Erin Condren, I was going to need some whiteout. So that's what I did. I just <laughs> considered it part of the cost. Um, it's fine. It's easy. It's the kind that's like dry. So it's not like the wet brush on. So, you know, it's, it's good. I'm just writing in those dates. Like I was saying, I put my Saturday and Sunday on the same page. Um, if you want to see why I do that, go ahead and check out my um, flip through video because I kind of slow down and walk through what's the what. 
All right. So let's see here. Let's go back to our questions. Mm, okay. What are your plans for the upcoming holiday? So I think the next holiday is, I don't really consider it a holiday, but it's, you know, something you do stuff for, um, Halloween. We, like I said, it's not a holiday. Like we don't decorate our house in Halloween stuff. We kind of keep it more fall harvest pumpkin style. Um, but we, I do want to sit outside and hand out candy to the little kiddos that uh, live here. We've done it a couple, we've done it a couple years ago. Um, and like the whole neighborhood really showed out and it was really, really fun. And we moved into this house. We built this house actually in 2019. And we moved in in August of 2019. And as you know, shortly after that, the world shut down. And so we never really got to meet our neighbors. And I think it's been kind of like a slow roll thing because when we first moved in the whole neighborhood wasn't even completely built yet but the people who lived here were like all about meeting one another and like having events and stuff and I think the pandemic just you know I don't know just kind of spoiled that and so we definitely need to crank up the gears and meet our neighbors and I think sitting outside for Halloween will be kind of a cool way to do that okay 14. Where's your favorite place to go on vacation? My husband and I love, 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 love a good cruise. We live in Dallas. We're about four and a half hours away from Galveston, so it's an easy drive, and we love it. I mean, give me a good cruise with some strong Wi-Fi, and I never have to leave. <laughs> like, I love it. And so that's definitely our favorite. Whenever we go on cruises, we rarely even know what destinations we're going to. We don't care. As long as we can get on the boat, have like a nice buffet, some great entertainment, strong Wi-Fi so we can still work. I mean, that's all we need. So, yeah. All right. So now looking at this video, you'll see I ran out of little hydration trackers. So I'm adding these hydration script stickers. One of my big goals is to use up all of my script stickers because as you can see, they're all different fonts and they're kind of all over the place. They're all over the place. And I want them to be much more streamlined so that when I flip through my planner, it's much more streamlined. Um, so yeah, just kind of using those up here. What I plan to do is just to write with pen how many ounces I was able to get through in the day um I actually think it'll be more a more accurate representation than the hydration trackers but it's fine and at the bottom of the page I am adding my little workout label um so I can write what my workout was so yeah that's that okay um Okay, so what is your favorite place that you've ever traveled to? So, <laughs> shocking enough, it is not Paris, France. Um, it's actually Queenstown, New Zealand. Holy smokes. It's basically heaven on earth. Like, it is so unreal. It is so beautiful so 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 beautiful um the only reason i didn't have queenstown as my answer for like where i live is because it snows there and i kind of hate the snow so <laughs> i hate the snow if i have to live in it if i'm like going to go visit then it's better but i cannot live in the snow ever again in my life being from northern ohio i've had more than enough so i wouldn't live there but it's definitely been my absolute favorite destination. All right, 16. Um, what is your personality type? Um, I don't know. When I, when I read this question, I think of like, am I an introvert or an extrovert? 
I think that I am, it's weird. Like I am an introvert socially. I, I can't even say socially because that makes it confusing. I'm an introvert. Um, however, I grew up performing like as a dancer. I was a professional dancer for a short time. And um, I danced all through college, and I loved being on stage. And then I turned around and became a trainer. So I was still on stage, like conducting trainings and seminars and webinars and all that. So I'm not really camera shy, kind of. Like, I'm not, I don't have stage fright. But I'm also, like, not trying to be out every weekend, <laughs> if that makes sense. So I could be very, very extroverted. I could work a room, lead a crowd, do all that. But when it comes to like smaller, intimate social experiences, like I freeze up. I just do. It's so weird. It's so weird. I know, but it's the truth. Um, They feel very taxing. To prepare for they feel very taxing afterwards you know some people say socializing like fills their cup it will it's not that I like hate it like we'll go out to dinner or we'll go to a small family event and I'll feel great afterwards I'll be very grateful to see everybody but then I'll also be like okay that's enough for a second like I need, I need to go home recharge be by myself go back into my routine be by myself, be, meaning be with just me and my husband. And um, and that's how I am. So I'm kind of like a, I'd say I'm an introverted extrovert, I guess. I don't know. It's not super clear cut. Okay. Um, looking back at the video, you know, one thing you're going to see that you've seen throughout this video is just all the different ways that I organize my stickers I have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, what I would do, and people may still do this, I just had to stay off of Facebook Marketplace because my spending was getting way too impulsive. Um, but what I used to do is if I was bored <laughs> or had a little break in my day, I would hop on to Facebook Marketplace and see, you know, what was what was on there. And often people would have like these sticker D stashes. And basically with a D stash, it's like partial kits, partially used kits. And you know, people will take out the stickers that they want and kind of give you whatever's left over. And that's why I have so many of these today and to do headers. Or I have so much so many page flags, but I don't have a ton of orange page flags. You know, it's kind of this like hodgepodge collection of stickers and what I would do I'd go on Etsy and buy sticker release paper just like loose leaf I would punch it with a six hole punch and put it inside of these binders that you see these like rose gold binders that I found at Michael's and I during <laughs> shamefully to say during whenever we would have like big company meetings to where I didn't have to speak you know I wasn't completely not paying attention but I would pull out my sticker book and just organize them so like if we had like a all company town hall or like a round table or something that would take two hours and it's good information I want to listen to it but I'm not contributing I would just pull out my sticker dish dash piles that I got in the mail and I would organize them in these books and to be quite honest it's super super relaxing like I loved it and sometimes I do it um but right now I'm really focused on finding creative ways that are intentional to use them up and so yeah that's uh, what you see me doing here okay next question <clears throat> just a few more mm. Okay, number 18. We have number 17, which is who is your favorite author? And I don't know. I don't think I have a favorite author, so I'm going to skip that. Uh, number 18. What was your first job? So my first job was working at a subway 
in a Walmart on the south side of Toledo. And I was so freaking happy when I got that job. Like I've always been one to work and make my own money. I'm not asking anyone else for money. If I want something, I need to be able to get it for myself. And um, the only person I've ever let truly take care of me is my husband. Like I am fiercely independent. And so when I got that job, I was just so happy just to make my own money. And um, it was a really fun job. You know, a few people from my high school worked there. So we'd like hang out and make sandwiches. <laughs> and I would take it like very seriously. Like I would try to make my sandwich, you know, the neatest and the nicest sandwich that that person ever got. Like I took it very, very seriously. Um, yeah, and it was a cool job. I remember in that moment learning about um, income taxes. <laughs> and I was so, I'm sorry I'm laughing. It cracks me up. I was so upset. Like no one told me that the government takes out a ton of money every paycheck. <laughs> and so my first paycheck, I would like, before I got my first paycheck, I knew how much my hourly rate was of which I think it was like $9 an hour, like my God. And um, I knew how many hours I would work and you know, I'd do the math and I would start to kind of plan out how I was gonna spend my little paycheck. And yeah, <laughs> little t to my surprise, I got that paycheck and that number was nowhere near where I thought it was gonna be. And I was so upset. I was so upset and confused and I, Wanted to go talk to my manager, and my mom was like, oh my gosh, calm down, it's just the taxes. And I was like, what are you talking about? She's like, yeah, the state and the city and the government and everybody and their mama takes money out of your paycheck, uh, and they call it taxes. And yeah, so that's that. Um, you guys, we are rolling down on this, <laughs> this video here you can see I'm just whiting out a few more things just kind of tidying it up a little bit <clears throat> there were a few spots that I missed and I'm sure there's even more spots that I missed um, as we continue to do these I'm gonna try and be a little bit more organized um, so yeah I hope you enjoyed this it was kind of fun I didn't think I'd enjoy doing those questions as much as I did this is the longest video I've ever made. It's like 40 minutes, which is really crazy. Uh, so if you made it this far, I love you and thank you. <laughs> and uh, leave any requests that you have down in the comments. Feel free to like this video. Feel free to subscribe if you're into this super chatty content. And if you're not into the super chatty content, I do have shorter form content. So be on the lookout for that. And yeah, I don't know, I'm kind of out of words. So I'm gonna let this video finish up and I will talk to you soon. Thank you guys, bye.